So the third step in our hypothesis testing is we need to get our critical T value. Now to get to our critical T value, we use the formula N minus K minus 1, where N is the number of observations, K is the number of explanatory variables, and then 1 will hold the place of the intercept term. So in this example, we had data for 1971 to 2005, so that gives us 35 observations. K, in this case, of four explanatory variables. And the one is, as I said, to keep the place of the constant or the intercept term. So this will give us a value of 30 for the degrees of freedom. So what we now do, if you go to your t-table in your textbook, you will see that your, your t-table is made up with degrees of freedom on the vertical axis and then the level of significance on the horizontal axis. Remember, in this case, we are doing a one-sided test. We are only testing whether something is bigger than or smaller than. We are not using the equal sign for both sides. So in this case, you, take, you look at your table and you use your degrees of freedom and you go down on the vertical axis to 30 and then you go right to the column which says 5% on the one-sided, which is the second column there, and you will see a value if you look it up of 1.697. So in this case, this 1.697 now becomes our critical value against which, which all our calculated T values will have to be tested.